the soulless paper gold market siloed by the CME LBMA will ultimately be forced to fold. It just doesn't look like it right now. But there's so little doubt that this week's uh, official effort to sigh up gold, gold, pri gold prices down, and of course silver, is a direct response to Russia moving to commoditize the ruble currency. Now, Andrew, can you give us your take on why, this is probably the most asked question we've had in the last couple of weeks here, why Russia commoditizing the ruble is bullish uh, for gold and silver com and all commodities. As we know, the, the, the very reason the Kremlin made this announcement, commoditizing the ruble currency, was in response to attempts made by the West to undermine, undermine the ruble peg. Now, while a single asset such as gold can, uh, and as we've seen, I mean, it can easily be manipulated in the paper markets. We've seen that over the last three weeks, a perfect example of it. However, it's impossible to manipulate all commodities at once. And by linking gold to all commodities and further offering a discount to pay for these commodities in gold, uh, or a strengthening ruble for that matter, the soulless paper gold market siloed by the CME LBMA will ultimately be forced to fold. It just doesn't look like it right now. But there's so little doubt that this week's uh, official effort to sigh up gold, gold, pri gold prices down, and of course silver, is a direct response to Russia moving to commoditize the ruble currency and their increasingly successful efforts to strengthen the ruble peg. Now, look, we're not taking sides here. We're just looking at how this affects the, the crosses. Uh, and so don't please don't make the mistake of thinking that forcing the futures gold price into backwardation to spot is being conducted from a position of strength. Not at all. While the best form of defense is usually attack, this week's panicked officially sanctioned derivative stick save really expanded the paper to physical chasm to the point where the incestuously formed CME LBMA alliance, which was, if you remember, we talked about this live at the time, was cobbled together in April 2020, stoked. Uh, and this stoked a level of physical demand not seen since March 2020. Now, this has coiled both gold and silver for a similar large catch up rally really likely after a sell the fact FOMC. Look, as I say, we're recording this ahead of FOMC on Wednesday. Now, just now, in fact, just a few minutes ago, ahead of FOMC, the ruble continues to strengthen against the dollar, lifting the, the offer by, central commercial, by Russian commercial banks to sell gold to the Russian central bank is plus $37 an ounce above the COMEX LBMA generated paper price. So really to sum it up, Shane, um, what we're seeing in the gold and silver wholesale markets is unprecedented. And while it was the physical shortages into strong safe haven demand that fractured the exchange for physical conduit in March 2020, if you remember, we talked about this huge blow up that drove a plus $600 short squeeze rally in gold and an $18 rally in silver before any pullbacks. This time, it's not COVID related, but it's driven by an alliance of real central bank physical demand taking steps to hedge their exposure to the US dollar and to bolster their currencies with physical. This is the hair trigger for a global gold price reset. Don't be fooled by this paper action. There's a, the, the, someone's going to have to pay this price. The physical premium offered for unlimited size combined with the 30% discount for energy, further incentivizes the energy arbitrage traders to chase physical gold off local London, off that illusionary gold fix, further tightening supply. Now, given very credible second tier friendly bank sources in, in Switzerland, there is little doubt that these same agent actors acting for officials are also secretly profiting off this arbitrage trade through their ownership stakes in the same Cayman entities into which they also populate the other reportable category of the casinos, COT report. And we've talked about the COT report. In fact, maybe if, if, maybe if we've got time, I may maybe sort of get into that a little bit more. But 
While officials and agent insiders are very short term able to limit Basel III compliance spot fit positions fixing at the RBMA PM uh, benchmark fix, the, the paper to physical price divergence is expanding to unsustainable levels. The unallocated GLD positions, which is the ETF, are clearly being drawn down by market making uh, APs, the um, authorized participants who are the same market makers, to flywheel the fix. This is all an incestuous little circle. Now, the race to use paper gold to square up large accrued underwater derivative positions is once again beginning to mirror tightly backwardated supply conditions which blew up the EFPs in March 2020, but from a $400 higher and much more stable stair step. And so really, as this unfactored physical supply shortage begins to erode this tiny fraction of bullion propping up this top heavy inverted one quadrillion derivative pyramid, there will be a massive blowback that will drive a race to exit these unbacked deliverable positions. Look, I know I'm preaching to the converted here, but I will underscore what Robert Kiyosaki said in our recent interview with him. How much physical do you own? Well, Andrew, talking about the COT, I do have a question on that. But before we get there, of course, I want to bring up silver and what is happening with silver out there. Yeah, Shane, um, I know, I know, silver always, I know, silver always comes up because not only do do we all love it, but but you are you are the absolute epitome of a silver investor. You you have been, I've known you over the years, and. You have bought silver in massive size, and I, I mean large size, and um, and I know that you love it. And uh, so really, yes, let's get into silver. Uh, and while we've been focusing on the fresh gold drivers and the divergences, this week's paper gaming drove the rate, the, 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 the silver ratio trade to to levels not seen since March 2020. Now, these are red flags is telegraphing that pushing the paper trade to a ludicrous close to 84 to 1 has resulted in the final breaking of the silver market and much more so than in gold, blowbacks are definitely forthcoming. And as we reported in our last episode, drawing attention to the very suspicious and unprecedented CME margin reductions, you remember, you don't reduce margins into a rising silver price. And obviously, we're talking about margins being, meaning credit positions, you usually tighten them into a rising price. So they were, we thought it was so suspicious at the time. And this LME, uh, CME LBMA derivative bailout measure was really clearly instigated to provide margin credit sufficient to bail out the multi billion dollar OCC derivative bets the Office of the Comptroller listed derivative bets into the breach of the 26225 Rubicon line. We've talked about this Rubicon line multiple times. This is this breach on the Monday, the 18th of a breach. It threatened the naked short derivative bets sufficient to take down the too big to fail taxpayer funded banks populating this position. And I'm not just talking about the less the lessees, the lessors too, having deliberately triggered blinkered Comex spec downside by using this uh, extra credit, um, they they got this downside momentum, spec momentum instigated, and bear in mind that the Comex traders are siloed; they don't see outside of what a dot on the screen. It could be zero. I mean, really, they, they view it in no other terms, and the CME assisted margin cuts to bail out the OCC bets of the 26225 Rubicon line, the momentum deeply overshot the OCC break-even level, which is very, very close to 23 bucks. Now, as a result, the LBMA price-setting paper silver market is so divergent from real supply-demand fundamentals, it's now also viewed by liquidity providers as broken, with London no longer respected as the physical market hub. I mean, it was doubtful before, but this just underscores it. Now, the silver fixed price is an illusion, 
And as with gold, the silver LBMA solus function is to mark the too big to fail inside a held underwater derivatives to market, and they don't represent the real supply demand prices. Now there's a direct but rigged lagging insider engineered algorithm correlation with uh, with the S&Ps, with ES, the symbol ES. If you look at it, you can see in, in these very thin conditions, SI has been HFT, high frequency traded correlated to ES. And, and when ES was in free fall, uh, it drags silver down with it because this algorithm's put in place. It is a paper algorithm. And it's providing insiders who have rigged this, this correlation um, with another opportunity to take to one to one take the long side of speculative capitulations, and now these specs have added fresh short positions. This sell off, and of course, that provides a beautiful short covering mechanism in a two way form. You're taking out the longs, uh, and then you then when you put the, these specs come in and start putting shorts in then they've got short cover into rinsing the shorts. I mean, this sell-off counter is counterintuitive to the massive premiums, the tight supply, the strong physical demand. And, and as we discussed with Alistair in our interview last week, an important component of protecting one's existing wealth is owning physical silver. 